Hello everyone. Today we're going to be returning to the world of Ia from Parabellum War Games as I check out the Varrier Lord for the Nords. Comes in a little box. Slip that out. We have two bags of resin, large base and stand. His card for Activating in First Blood and Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings. Pop, pop the bits out. Little bits of flash. There always seems to be a fair bit of flash, but the moulds themselves are, or the casts themselves are very crisp once they're washed and cleaned. Yeah, small amounts of flash that I'll need to scrape off or cut off. We'll see it after it's been in the bath. Bit of a sprue gate here and here. Um, if you are unused to using resin, these sprue gates can be quite thick sometimes on very thin pieces. Um, always clean your resin in soapy water, warm soapy water generally. Um, I also clean these off at the same stage because they become a bit more rubbery. The resin around them is less brittle, so you can clip and then craft these off with a knife without worrying about the, uh, the part shearing off. Pieces are keyed to each other. As you can see, a couple of different colors of resin, that doesn't make any difference. It just, depending on who's mixing a batch, we have this brutal, sword. Slight bend in that will need to be straightened out when it's hot as well. No options with it so one piece, oh sorry, single pose model not one piece. Um, the detail looks excellent on it. Bit of a Beauty and the Beast overbite on there or underbite. Not sure which way you describe the bites. Let's get them all cleaned up and assembled. Okay, our Varrier Lord is assembled. And looking fairly fearsome. Um, build was, as expected, fairly easy. Uh, very quick cleanup, so I haven't done any fine cleanup. So there's slight seam line here on the bands around that broken sword. Um, and I did find the moulding, the pads of the feet are moulded, it's not flat, uh, which meant I had a little problem getting them to glue, so I ended up taking sandpaper to his feet just to flatten them out a bit more uh, and give me a bit more contact on the base. But I mean, that's a tiny thing. Uh, as you can see, the um, join is slightly noticeable there, possibly because it's two colours. Um, once it's actually been primed, a lot of this will disappear into the, the priming, although you could always give it a bit of a fill in first. Some gorgeous detail on the model from things like the... Um, there's work done on the leather belt, so sort of symbols carved into it, which are very subtle. Uh, which is probably unusual for something like this, which isn't subtle at all. Uh, Game-wise, if you're bringing a Varrier Lord, um, he has a couple of interesting things. One is he can actually be uh, deployed with not just the Ware Wargs, but also uh, the Fenrir Beast Packs. Um, and when he's on the table, any Ware Wargs and Fenrir kind of having flurry, so they get to reroll field hits in clashes, um, which is brutal. He has uh, relatively low defense, but he has regeneration. So every time he activates, he, he regenerates a couple of damage points back off him. Um, and uh, yeah, impact four will do a lot of damage before you even start upgrading. Oh, here's one last cheeky little rule, which is when you, uh, when you have him on the table, he gets 
uh, Call of the Hunt as a supremacy ability, uh, which allows him to bring in two regiments instead of the usual one for uh, the reinforcements. Uh, as you can see, he is 75 mil to the top of his sweeping cloak and around about 50 to werewolf eye level. Meaning he's a, a big, big fella. And like I say, a really, really nice piece to either use as a, as a, an overall barrier lord commander or just to add in to your, your ranks of uh, werewargs just to uh, mix it up a bit. So there we have it. The Artisan series resins are absolutely gorgeous. He's a huge, chunky beast of a man. And gameplay-wise, he will do a lot of damage by himself. But when you combine him with some Werewargs or Vervargs, or Vervari, depending, um, he'll bring it to a whole new level. Having a, a Lord or a War Boss that can... Uh, vary the style of play so people may be expecting the the nords to come along with a lot of rank and file infantry throw him in uh, throw in some fenrir hounds pouncing across the battlefield and a load of wargs and it's a very quick light regenerating army uh, it would change up things massively uh, so there's one for your meta uh, let me know what you think below until next time folks bye bye go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and while you're at it why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.